There we go. All right. Good afternoon, Jackie. How are you today? I'm good. Good, good. All right. So I've got your resume here in front of me. You've got some fantastic operations experience. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about what a day, um, the daily responsibilities looked like in your last role in operations? Okay. Um, hi there, by the way, to all who are watching. Uh, whether it's my day to day or weekly, I handle all the budgets and reports, budget forecasting, all scheduling, payroll reporting. I balance all the books, monitor cash flow merchant processing. I handle all inventory management as well as I track COGS, cost of goods, and opportunities to lower them. I'm constantly on the search for that. I keep an eye on all trends and sales and additional opportunities for growth in the industry wherever I can find additional revenue streams. All right, fantastic. And how many supervisors or, and or employees were reporting to you on a daily basis and what were their job titles? I currently have eight employees plus ownership from service worker to management, but at my prior position, I had a staff of 50 plus from service workers to department heads. Fantastic. And how many hours on average do you expect to work per week working in operations? This one, I always have a lot of time to think about um, because management's really important to me. It's, it's about people. So management usually at times, around the clock. When your staff are working, you need to always be available to them when the occasion rises. Ideally, 50 to 60 hours is what I expect, but I'm fully aware that as questions come up at any hour, I need to be available. Employees feel more supported when in their roles when you make yourself readily available. Absolutely. I completely agree. That's fantastic. Now, in an operations management style role, you could be working very closely with the owners, CFOs, investors. What is your experience analyzing various reports to ensure that the multiple departments and or locations are operating to budget, they're hitting their KPIs, and staying within the financial margin set by your financial team? As you might notice on my resume, I currently handle the entire general ledger from data entry to extraction for the accountant. I understand P&Ls, assets and liabilities, operational budgets from revenue, variable cost, fixed cost, non-cash expenses, non-operating expenses, capital cost, and what constitutes a capital cost slash purchase. The main goal of hitting the big three of key performance indicators, satisfied customers, financial, um, financially healthy, and satisfied employees. Fantastic. Why don't you give me an example of a time where you might have implemented change to help drive growth and expand the margins within the organization? And how did you do this to make it happen? In my current position, I took over a failing business and doubled revenue the first year. I accomplished this in a multifaceted way. I worked closely with the staff to hear the needs they felt had been neglected in the job to maintain revenue streams. I then focused on customer satisfaction and created goals to implement changes with minimal cost to change those customers' opinions that were displeased. I then created a street campaign where we went door to door introducing ourselves and giving a small gift card to encourage a visit to our establishment, no strings attached. They loved that and they would often visit to our establishment that day to redeem. Most often, out of just that alone, we get a 30% retention of new customers, but the word of mouth from those customers has never stopped. I took over social media and I looked at all the ways that guerrilla marketing was made available and made quick work of it. There's a huge stream for guerrilla marketing. A lot of people uh, lose out on those opportunities because they just don't know. Absolutely. Now, tell me about if you were in a situation where you had things go wrong in operations sometimes, right? So if you have multiple things going wrong at the same time, whether it's at different locations or whichever, how would you handle and prioritize when things are going awry and knowing what problem to attack first? So crisis and problem solving at any location or multiple locations get handled usually first and the most time sensitive, unless another issue that arises is potentially more costly, then that jumps the priority ladder. As well as time sensitive matters are employee relations. Should a conflict arise, it is best to de-escalate it as quickly as possible, or it becomes like quicksand for employee morale. 
Fantastic. What would you say is your favorite piece of technology to help keep you organized on the day to day? Currently, I use a large amount of the Google app and apps and services, and that's because they cross platforms well with my cellular device and laptop or anytime I send somebody a document, it's easily retrievable and readily available to print. The output comes out correctly. There's no weird coding that happens um, to Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Meet and Keep. But I do additionally love Dropbox for large data compression. As a last resort for backups, I use OneDrive because that also will run in the back end of your computer and keep keep tabs on everything and make copies. So if you lose everything, it's available. Throughout my time in management, I've worked in several other systems, um, even open source programs. Um, I can e easily adapt to any custom company systems. And at times I've even helped in the data programming and initial setup, like implementing new systems. Um, I, I enjoy it, tend to catch on quickly and then I'm able to teach it to the rest of the staff. Fantastic, okay, great. What would you say is the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for? The most important thing to me about the next company I work for is growth potential. I would love to work for a company that is always looking for new opportunities to expand. I look for companies that have a positive and adaptive culture in trust. I wanna feel valued and a core part of the team. I love being stimulated and challenged. Fantastic. Jackie, there is obviously anytime you're working in operations, there's a lot of opportunity for future growth within a company. What are your long term plans over the next five to 10 years? My career goals for the next five to 10 years is to grow in my role and take full advantage of any training and development opportunities that your company might have to offer. Hopefully, as you consider my resume, you might notice my longevity with employers. I always see myself as long term, never short term. As my youngest graduates, I hope that there might be opportunities to work abroad should it ever present itself or even welcome travel if it becomes necessary. Fantastic. What do you like to do for fun? Well, I do enjoy exploring my city, art, music, reading. I love finding hidden gems, things that make up the true culture of Orlando. Um, I like OMA, catching an art exhibit there, or Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center to catch a play or see a new exhibit. Um, or honestly, weirdly enough, I love the excitement of cracking a brand new book for the first time. Those pages being fresh and unmarked. I really enjoy that. Um, but on, you know, we all have home improvement projects. You can't seem to get away from that. So I do end up doing that a lot in my own time. And uh, my bucket list is to travel to all the national monuments. Fantastic. Jackie, I've loved learning more about your background and your experience and also a little bit about you personally as far as your career path and what things that are important to you as you start this next journey. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. Mm -hmm.